At the 2013 Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics Conference on Computational Science and Engineering, professionals from industry, academia, and labs discussed their careers and offered insights on how students can approach their own professional development. So the skills and experiences that make someone attractive to a government lab is having some technical depth, so something in which you are sort of a, a leader in, in making breakthroughs. But the other thing we're looking for is some evidence that you've worked in more than one area, so technical flexibility. In a career in the lab, it's unlikely that you will stay focused on a single type of problem for your entire career. There are some exceptions, but most people move around, especially over the course of many decades, and work in new and different areas. So I've moved from optimization for simulations to trying to understand large-scale networks using tools in linear algebra and graph theory. They're very different problem domains. One of the things that I've liked about working in industry is the problems change all the time. Now some of the underlying mathematics that goes on in those problems is actually the same and actually right now we're looking at a transition in computing to many cores and a lot of these new cores will have this sort of vector processing in it. Well I did that 30 years ago so if you wait long enough you start to really look smart because you've seen it before. Um, and that's the, that's the breadth that you get. But meanwhile, you maintain your expertise in a couple areas or a specific area. And it's important to have that deep knowledge because in, in fact, that's what you'll get hired for at a company like IBM. I held three internships during my graduate school career. And um, certainly the experience I got with working with large scale software projects um, on a much larger scale than I would get in academia and my personal research group really gave me the skills that I needed to get a job in industry at a software company. I came to a SIAM conference every year of graduate school and that's how I met the people in my field and learned job openings and many of the internships that I had were because I networked with people that I met at conferences and emailed them and asked them for support or asked for advice. I can understand the attraction of the big lab, but in the end, it's wonderful to have freedom for your life, to, to, to change fields entirely if you want to. Uh, so, I, and I recommend changing rather than staying with one topic for your whole life. The optimum is to find things in life that you want to do that are fun and that people are happy you're working on.